we are displaying some data from the comments page here and we took care of some of the CRUD for now for that acronym you know create uh, read update and delete so we are taking care of the read part of it all right so what I want to do is if I if you go to the post right here we have a little form here what I want to do is add some fields like the author name maybe the email and when the user clicks on this form we want to submit this data to a database and then show it here in the comments side right here perfect right so let's go ahead and do that right now let's do it let's try to do it in this um, lecture and let's just copy this div actually let's copy the whole thing so that way we don't have a mistake right right here and I'm gonna put an input right here of text and it's gonna have a name of author post author actually comment author jeez comment author perfect let's put another div around it here and let's just say this one would be the email comment email and let's just change the type on the email so we have some validation there automatically let's add a class so that way it looks pretty and form control we make this look beautiful and it's gonna make it all across the screen across the bot the container which holds that comment section show you right now what I mean you see that it's gonna make it all the way across we can fix this later on right now I kinda like it we're gonna leave it like this for now alright so let's put a label on this thing here because right now there's no label and this is for author let's do another label for email email let's make sure that we put this one here too author all right perfect right and let's do another label for the text area here and just say comment here maybe your comment is the great thing when you're building your own CMS is that you can put whatever you want right <laughs> comment there we go perfect looking great looking good all right this submit here we're gonna put a name attribute we're gonna get this ready for the post right create comment we're gonna call it underscore cre create underscore comment and the type is gonna be a submit that's fine let's go ahead and catch that data somewhere so that way we can test it all right right here so let's open some PHP tag first looking good let's make this a little bigger so you can see it just in case it's too small for you <laughs> if set all right all right don't fall asleep on me all right hopefully you're getting this this we, we have done this before so I think if you're following me you are doing great so create comment is the not create update create comment Edwin what are you thinking jeez I need more coffee if you're getting some coffee ready you a student please give me some and send it to me with our teleportation software that we have in our computer I can smell it all right if set let's echo something out what we want to echo let's echo the author why not so let's echo it but first we need to put that name field here all right and did we put it no we did not we just put the label all right post now, oh again there I go there I go so what is it again comment alter I thought I did put it in there unbelievable all right you see what happens when you work a lot of hours you and you ask yourself a question and then you answer it back yourself I just answer my own question like I was talking to somebody else that's not good 
we need to sleep a little more okay if you are working a lot of hours make sure that you get some rest okay all right so let's put a name field here call this content comment content all right let's get it done echo and let's just say alter all right let's check it out let's check it out let's do this all right I am the author yes and it's gonna put any email and it's gonna give me some validation problem there you see that that type email does this for us beautiful I'm just gonna put example at gmail submit <gasps> what oh of course the post ID post ID we can't have that we didn't check that line 29 what are we doing here and we didn't even check what are we checking here what are, what are we doing here we're checking their ID oh post ID line 29 what are we checking of course we are submitting somewhere else right what is this form submitting to is this form submitting any do we have a form yes we do have a form but we don't have any action on it let's put some action on it Tum -tum. action let's put some methods too how can we forget all this data I'm telling you I need my coffee all right let's go ahead and do it again post all right let's cross our fingers guys and ladies too I know some ladies are taking this course and email example gmail there we go submit oh Undefined create author. Are you kidding me? Undefined? Of course. We're not creating an author. We are we have a common author and you probably saw that you didn't even tell me. Alright, I'm I'm after this lecture I'm taking I'm getting some coffee. For sure. I'm getting some coffee after this. Seriously. But you know I like arrows anyway, so I like to go and inspect the arrows and it's cool submit and there we go we have some data coming in perfect after like a hundred tries we did it if you follow me and you did the same mistake tons down on you because you're supposed to see that mistake before I do it all right you're my student one of the best students in the world but anyway thank you so much for watching this video here and on the next lecture we're gonna be able to insert some data all right so hopefully we will finish up on the next one Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.